In this video, let me quickly give you an overview about the course. This course is fully practical with lots of animations and code exercises. So what exactly is covered in this course? This section will give you a good head start into the world of real-time operating systems. Then we will quickly set up another super powerful IDE for Arduino board that is Atmel Studio 7 where I will teach you how to install the software, creating a project, flashing the code to your Arduino Duo board, debugging features like stepping in, stepping out, stepping over, setting up breakpoints, controlling the Arduino Duo LEDs using the IO view of the IDE etc. Then we will quickly integrate the pre-Atos kernel source with your Atmel Studio project and we will test it on the Arduino hardware in this section. So if you are using Linux or Mac then don't worry. You can follow these sections where I have explained how you can set up Eclipse based development for using Priatos. In these sections I have explained Keel and Eclipse based development for STM32 boards like STM Nucleo and STM Discovery. So ideally this course holds good for any microcontroller which is based on ARM Cortex M based processor. Alright, after that from this section onwards I will take you into the world of Priatos with hands-on code exercises. We will understand the Priatos kernel file structure, its licensing, API interface, the Priatos config.h, kernel timers, kernel tick interrupts, etc. in these sections. Also, I will teach you step by step how to use the Percipio Tracelizer software to debug Priatos applications in this section. Then in these sections we will cover Priatos task management, queue management, semaphores, mutaxes, delay APIs, the stack and heap, priorities etc with code exercises. Then this section is very interesting one. Here I will explain you the architecture specific code such as the PandasV handler which does the contract switching in the Priatos kernel and the Cystic handler which implements the kernel ticking and the SVC handler which actually use it to schedule the very first task when your Priatos starts executing. Okay, so all these things I will explain step by step by going into the assembly code of each handler. Okay, so this section will really help you if you want to port the Priatos kernel to any newer architecture. Alright, so remember that if you can understand these handlers then you can port the Priatos code to any ARM Cortex M based MCU with no time. Alright, and it also helps you to port the Priatos kernel to newer architectures like uh, the AVR architecture or the MSP430 architecture. Alright, so this is really a interesting section. Then this course also discusses about using Keel and Eclipse IDs for Priatos on STM32 based board. So I'll show you how you can set up the whole Eclipse based development for this course. This basically helps uh, the users of Linux as well as Mac operating systems. So also this course has lots of quizzes after every section to review what you have learnt. Great, so now in the next lecture there is one FAQ article. So I request you to kindly read it which may clear most of your doubts about this course. Alright, so thanks again for taking this course and I will see you in the next section. Bye.